On August 4, 1914, Britain declared war on Germany, and Canada, as part of the British Empire, was at war. A war in which the airplane was to change forever the way nations do battle. Throughout the war, the airmen's most important role was reconnaissance. Air crews initially brought back drawings and later photographs of enemy troop and artillery positions. Flying in open cockpit aircrafts, pilots used progressively deadlier weapons. They began with handheld rifles, pistols, bricks and even grappling hooks. But the introduction of forward firing machine guns became the aircraft's best offensive weapon. The effectiveness of machine guns led to the introduction of dedicated fighter aircraft such as the Newport 17, Sopwith Pup, Sopwith Camel, Spad 7, and Sopwith Triplane. The development of fighter aircraft during the war culminated with the British Sopwith Snipe and the German Fokker D7. The French called pilots who downed five or more enemy aircraft aces. Pilots like Billy Bishop, Raymond Collishaw, Donald McLaren, William Barker and Albert Carter were just some of the prominent Canadian aces who flew fighter aircraft. Through stories and images, many people recall World War I aviators as being flamboyant and gallant. This image of pilots as gentlemen of the air was important to the support of the war effort by the civilian population. The reality for those involved was much less glamorous and much more deadly. Despite there being many Canadian pilots, there were not enough well-trained Canadian maintenance and repair engineers to support an all-Canadian squadron. The most distinctively Canadian unit was the Black Flight of No. 10 Naval Squadron, led by Raymond Collishaw. Its pilots were all Canadians and flew soft with triplanes with black markings. Canada entered the war in 1914 with only a handful of airmen. By the war's end on November 11, 1918, 22,812 Canadians had served in the British Air Forces. Those who returned were now skilled airmen and would play an important role in the new era of aviation about to begin in Canada.